So this work uh, is a different work. I skipped too fast. But this is very, very interesting. Um, she was commissioned by NIFCA, the Nordic Institute of Contemporary Art in Helsinki, Finland, to make an interactive work, Little Bang. So this is actually on their website at the moment. Uh, Little Bang is an interactive dandelion clock and it rotates when you drag the mouse and what happens is the seedlings disperse tangentially to form a cloud orbiting the clock head. And what you can do within this is that within this interaction uh, you can change the mass of the dandelion uh, which will then affect obviously the gravitational pull of the seedlings. And the whole concept came uh, from Grace's weird study of uh, the Urt cloud uh, by the Dutch astronomer Jan Urt, where he suggested that the existence of a reservoir of comets in a great sphere extending to 100,000 times the Sun-Earth distance. Uh, so you can see again, she's working very, very uh, intensely in, in this area and trying to use art as a tool uh, to create greater communication and understanding of the work. So, that's Grace. And I think this, the next one will be particularly interesting for scientists here. So just find, yeah. So, here we have an artist who started as an agricultural microbiologist. So, the training, she had her training in microbiology from New Zealand and then came to Ireland and did a master's in um, fine art in NCAD. So within the, this person is called Catherine Fitzgerald and within her work it's the public, the public being used as quantitative data which is a, is a common element. So they form really the matter that you know is necessary for um, you know, for Catherine Fitzgerald to go make her pieces. And she had an online passion survey asking the general audience about genetics and passion. And she also worked inside, again, in Trinity's uh, Department of Zoology in a piece called In a Different Language, where she collaborated with uh, Dr. Paul Murphy. And within that, the students and the faculty became very involved in uh, the just discussions about the project, but also uh, Fitzgerald asked for all the staff and all the students working to actually provide images that were uh, important to their everyday working scientific life. So, you know, that, that was, a, and it, it could have been anything that was given, whether it was, you know, equations or just images that were, you know, of, a form of uh, microbiology or a form of DNA, but it was that involvement really that was really wonderful about that piece of the faculty and self getting involved in the process of making the art with with the uh, Catherine Fitzgerald. And she's very interested in bridging the ethereal with human data and response, conversing in the conversing in the language of science through experimentation and research. For Catherine, it is through human intervention that science becomes tangible and relevant in conversing and connecting in innovative ways. And this piece here is particularly interesting because, uh, because she's a scientist herself and is very, very much up uh, in a response to contemporary issues within science. Uh, she made this piece in 2000 uh, and basically a response to scientific I guess, chatter uh, about junk DNA. And I think in the early 2000s, there was uh, basically, there was a large part of the scientific community that were saying, oh, well, junk DNA doesn't do anything, you know, it's not really relevant. And, uh, but that was proved to be, mm -hmm. yeah, that was proved to be false. So uh, how Catherine Fitz Fitzgerald responded to this was she took material that would be regarded as just waste material. Um, for example, with twigs, she used uh, twigs and weeds and wildflowers uh, to create this piece of work uh, called Unwanted Genes. And as it turned out then, three years later, you know, 
the artist was right, and uh, it was found out that joint DNA was actually very important to the structure of of DNA. But you know, it was just very, very interesting how she's responding in an artistic way to contemporary scientific issues. You know, whether right or wrong or what have you. So I think really, in terms of, I mean, Martha's told me to stop. Okay, you want five minutes, right? Um, so where we are and what we hope to do, I mean, we are delighted to be part of this network and because we are so young, we're, we're only one year old, uh, we are very excited to be working with other, uh, you know, container and with Yuri, uh, you know, and who have far more experience and much more detail in working with the arts and science. So we will start our main arts and science program in Ireland in 2009. And we have one of our first uh, events in that is an exhibition of Suzanne Anker, uh, who is a New York artist. And again, Suzanne, she's very interested in the idea of DNA. And she's written extensively on the subject. And one of her books uh, is called Art in the Genetic Age. And um, also her partner, Frank Gillette, um, who's interested in codes and in abstraction of codes and materials used. So that will be one of our first events of, you know, the, the events that we were talking about uh, yesterday within the network. So it's very exciting for us uh, to be here and to be collaborating with our partners. And, you know, I think there's so much potential in this area in Ireland, and I think it will continue to grow and through initiatives like the network where we have this communication between scientists and artists it will no doubt it looks good it looks the future looks good so thank you